Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Um, so how much would 10,000 police officers cost? Well, um, if we recruit the 10,000 police uh, men and women over a four-year period, we believe it'll be about £300,000. Three hundred thousand pounds. Sorry, three... ten thousand police officers. What are you saying? Them? <laughs> no, I mean, sorry. How, how much will they cost? They will cost. They will. It will cost um, about about eighty million pounds. About eighty million yeah. pounds. Right. How do you get to that figure? We get to that figure because we anticipate recruiting 25,000 police, extra police officers a year at least, over a period of four years. And we're looking at both what average police wages are generally, but also specifically police wages in London. And this will be funded by the reversing, in some instances, I think, the cuts to capital gains tax. But I'm right in saying that since Jeremy Corbyn became leader of the party, that money has also been promised to reverse uh, cut, spending cuts in education, spending cuts in arts, spending cuts in sports. The Conservatives would say you spent this money already, Diana. Abbott. Well, the Conservatives would say that. We've not promised the money to any area. We've just pointed out that the cuts in capital gains tax will cost the taxpayer over two billion pounds and there are better ways of spending that money but as we roll out our manifesto process we are specifically saying how we will fund specific proposals and this morning I'm saying to you that we will fund the 10,000 extra police officers by using some not all but just some of the over two the, billion the, the, pounds the, the 80 million is the figure we yeah use. yeah but we'll, if you if you I don't understand if you divide 80 million by 10,000, you get 8,000. What we're Is that what you're going to pay these policemen and women? No, we're talking about um, uh, an, a, a process over four years. I don't understand. What, what, what is he or she getting? 80 million uh, divided by 10,000 equals 8,000. So I, what are these police officers going to be paid? We will be paying them the average... Has this been thought through? Of course it's been thought well, through. As where we, are the figures? The figures are that the, the additional cost in year one, when we anticipate recruiting 200 and about 250,000 policemen, will be 64.3 million. 250,000 policemen? And women. Well, we're, we're, so you're, you're getting more than 10,000? You're recruiting 250,000? No, we're, we are recruiting 2,000 and perhaps 250. Two, and the cost... So where, do, where did 250,000 come from? I think you said that, not me. No, no, you... I can assure you, you said that because I wrote it down. Labour say they will recruit 10,000 more police officers in England and Wales if they win the general election. And they'll pay for the policy by reversing cuts to capital gains tax. But there's some confusion about how much it will cost. In a radio interview earlier this morning, Shadow Home Secretary Diane Abbott said the sum was only £300,000. But that would only amount to £30 per police officer. She then corrected herself and said the figure was £80 million. But it seems that too was wrong. In a further clarification, Labour said it would in fact cost £300 million a year by 2021-22. Now, in the past couple of hours, Jeremy Corbyn, the Labour leader, was asked about that figure and Diane Abbott's interview. She corrected the figure and that's the figure and it will be paid for by uh, not going ahead with the cuts in capital gains tax. And is it a bit embarrassing that your Shadow Home Secretary got the numbers wrong? You're obviously trying to get voters to put their trust in you in this election. Not at all. We've corrected the figure and it will be absolutely clear now, today and in the manifesto. I'm not embarrassed in the slightest. 
Well, that was Jeremy Corbyn, the Labour leader, obviously following an earlier interview that Diane Abbott, the Shadow Home Secretary, had done about the figures on policing. And I'm happy to say that Diane Abbott is here with me now. Despite what Jeremy Corbyn has said, it is embarrassing. It's embarrassing that you don't know your figures on a key policy. I do know my figures. And as you will know, I did seven interviews that morning, and that was the seventh that I misspoke. But I do know my figures. You didn't know them in that interview. Let's have a listen to it. In fact, it was with LBC and Nick Ferrari. Let's just take a listen and viewers can make up their own minds. So how much would 10,000 police officers cost? Well, um, if we recruit the 10,000 police uh, men and women over a four-year period, we believe it'll be about £300,000. Three hundred thousand pounds. Sorry, three... ten thousand police officers. What are you paying them? <laughs> no, I mean, sorry. How, how much will they cost? They will cost. They will. It will cost um, about about eighty million pounds. About eighty million yeah. pounds. Diana, but. That is hugely embarrassing. It's not just misspeaking, to quote you a bit earlier. You just don't know your figures and you're not on top of your brief. If I didn't know my figures, why was I able to do six other interviews and give the figures correctly? And you need to ask why the Conservative Party is so anxious to move the debate away from the 20,000 police officers. We'll come on to that because we're going to speak to a Conservative in just a moment. But back to that interview. Never mind that you did six or seven interviews. This is now an election campaign. Uh, front benchers and government ministers are expected to do reams of interviews. This was a major policy announcement for you. By your own words, you want to make this a cornerstone of your manifesto. You didn't know the figures. I did know my figures. And if you'd listen... Why didn't you say them then? Because I misspoke, as you heard. If I didn't know my figures, I wouldn't have been able to repeat them correctly in six other interviews. Which interviews and did you correct them? Because I listened to one of those interviews. You didn't mention the figures at all. You said it was all going to be costed and it would be in the manifesto. I did six other interviews. The point but is... But you didn't mention the, the figures the in those other interviews. You decided why? to talk about the figures. And they are basic figures. £300,000, which, as Nick Ferrari said, would have meant £30 per police officer... That's embarrassing. You were then struggling to correct that figure. Did you actually not know them at all and you were guessing when you were asked about it on air? Or what is your explanation? I knew the figures because I've repeated them many times You haven't. Morning. I haven't heard and you repeat them at well, all. I've just I can, heard them I can interview. repeat them now. And I'm concerned that you don't want to talk about policing, which is something the public is concerned in, particularly the rise in violent crime. And you do want to, you do want to go over and over a Nick Ferrari But interview. that's your fault, Diana. But, I mean, you want to talk about the issue, and we were all prepared to talk about the issue of policing and the claims that you are making that the police forces have been underfunded and you want to recruit more officers. But by going on air... And in a major interview where you just completely fluffed the figures, whether you knew them or you just chose not to say them or you couldn't remember them, um, actually doesn't do your cause any good. The public will understand that you're not willing to talk about the real issues. And the real issues are that we have lost 20,000 police officers since 2010 and we're seeing a rise in violent crime. You want to be Home Secretary. You want crime. to be Home Secretary. How do you think an interview like that... We couldn't find the figures in a press release, by the way, earlier. So uh, I do dispute you claiming that you did know those figures. And if you didn't know those figures, how can you claim to want to be Home Secretary in charge of the police forces of England and Wales? Do you think you've instilled confidence in and either the police forces people, or the voters? People that listened to any of the interviews I gave this morning, with the exception of the LBC interview, will know that I do know the figures. And I wish you were prepared to talk about policing. Yeah, and we are going to talk about policing, which is why we have Dominic Raab, um, a Conservative, on the programme. I'll talk to him about that. But people will be worried that you 
are not across what you should be in terms of this brief that you came on the airwaves to announce as a key part of your policy? I mean, do you think it's important to attach the right figures to major spending commitments in this election? Of course I think that, and that's why I attach the right figures in six interviews out of seven. I also think it's important that a major programme like yours is prepared to talk to the Labour spokesperson about policing. Yes. Because people deserve to know what the Labour Party is saying. All right, well, let's talk about, about, about the how you're going issues. to pay for it, which is by reversing the cuts to capital gains tax. So what level of capital gains tax will it be under Labour? We are going to reverse the cuts in capital gains tax in order to fund a number of No, things, I understand that, but what level will it be? Including the 10,000 police officers. But just let me say why it's important to have 10,000 more policemen, because we've lost 20,000 under Theresa May, and we've seen a rise in violent crime. We currently have some of the lowest rates of capital gains tax in Europe. Right, but what are they? What will they be under Labour? If you win the election, what will you reverse the cuts to be? What will the two levels of capital gains tax be? We will bring them back to where they were before. That's Which the are, point. And what are those levels? The point is that it will save us nearly £2.7 billion. Pounds, and that's what we're going to use both to pay for the 10,000 policemen and for other areas of our manifesto. And just in case you're saying that, none of it's costed, we will produce a manifesto which is costed and is paid for. And we hope, as the campaign goes on, that people like yourself will be more willing to talk about the issues. And we really will. But people. I think what voters will want to know is that they can trust you with the figures and with the finances. And just one last time, because I fear you don't know what the levels of capital gains tax are now and what they would be if you did reverse them. Yes, it would raise £2.7 billion. Pounds. That is the figure you put out. But what will the levels of capital gains tax be? It's not the figure that we've put out. That's the figure in the government's own red book, that if we reverse the cuts that the government has announced, that we will raise at least £2.7 billion. Pounds. And we believe that we can put that money to better use than on tax cuts for the top 5%. Bye now, please, no more on.